from Seco Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. Hello and welcome back to Future Farm. The crop is moving right along today. Here we are sitting even after the cold weather at between V6 and V7 on corn, which is a great time to start applying nitrogen to the crop. You know, the, tro the crop is taking up an awful lot of nitrogen this time. Between now and about V15 is when it takes up the majority of the nitrogen for the season. So I'm here with Trent Friesen with Streamline Ag, and we're gonna talk about nitrogen stabilizers. So welcome, Trent. Thank you, glad to be here. So Trent, a lot of fertility is going on this time of year, yes. and there's a lot for farmers to think about. So tell us a little bit about, about what considerations they need to have when applying nitrogen. Yeah, I think the first thing to consider when applying nitrogen is, I always say that the best thing to do is to split apply your nitrogen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of guys are in the older days would, would put all their nitrogen up front or they'd put on all their anhydrous in the fall and hope it makes it all the way through the year. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things to consider is trying to split apply your nitrogen and, and split apply your sources. So whether that's doing urea um, or UAN and then coming back with urea, whether that's doing some anhydrous and then coming back with some UAN, but finding ways to split apply your nitrogen throughout the season instead of just one big shot is the best way. Yeah, and the big reason for that is that you might put all your nitrogen up front but it doesn't stick around for that crop to be able to use it, right? Correct, yep, we have, uh, we have volatility happens, denitrification happens, which is more down, and then, and then leaching as well. Leaching is one of the bigger issues that we have, and that's what happens the most when guys are bit out early. Yeah, so even in spite of, of doing everything we can to split apply nitrogen, there are still things that we need to do in order to mitigate the denitrification, leaching, and volatility of nitrogen. And so what can we do? What can a farmer do? Yes, there's some couple different options. We have some options and some solutions to that um, using nitrogen stabilizer or nitrogen management aids. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the products that we have that are unique are um, gonna be for either below ground, mm -hmm. uh, which is going after helping with denitrification and, and leaching, um, or for for both of those two and and helping protect above ground volatility. Okay. So um, how ours works was is a little different than the industry. A lot mm -hmm. of competitors out there are um, either killing soil bacteria or messing with soil bacteria, uh, which is the opposite of what we want to do. We understand that we need we need bacteria in the soil and we don't want to mess with that or kill any of that. Uh, so we're working with calcium polymers and, and other mm -hmm. copolymers to help really truly manage your nitrogen and yep. hold it in the first eight to twelve inches of the soil. Um, one of the things I really like about uh, the, the, the calcium polymer mm -hmm. is I was talking about, you know, you look at different, different fields that have different CEC. Mm -hmm. um, you have some fields that have really high CEC, high ability to hold nutrients, and then you have some, some sandier soils that have low CEC. Yep. So CEC is cation exchange capacity, right? Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I was, yep. I was looking at that of kind of like you have a, a, a Walmart parking lot, yep. which is basically a high CEC mm -hmm. or a, a, a tractor supply uh, that has a, a small parking lot and a, a, a smaller CECs. Yeah, so these, the, when you say you know, parking lot, these are the parking spaces where to turn it back to nitrogen, this is where the nitrogen can actually slot in and fit to stick around in the soil, correct? Yes, correct. So I look at, you know, you have a parking lot, whether it's a Walmart or a tractor supply parking lot that has some parking spots available, some mm -hmm. spots taken up. Um, so that's where with ours, with the calcium pollen, we're basically taking kind of a, a bulldozer and freeing up a lot of those those parking spots to free up spots to actually park and attach your ammonium nitrogen in the soil. Right, right. So that's what helps stabilize in the soil, so that you don't get the uh, the, the leaching and denitrification. Yes, right? mm -hmm. yes. We're given we're given a spot for your nitrogen to actually instead of having to kind of move through the soil and find spots to park or find mm -hmm. spots to, to hang on to, we're given it spots to actually attach to the soil. But then it also has a, a, a polymer that acts as a synthetic colloid. Yep. that almost acts as another exchange site. So think about that parking lot and basically building another parking lot on top of it uh -huh. to really help capture and hold your nitrogen and kind of create a netting in that first eight to 12 inches of the soil to truly manage your, your nitrogen to help it from, really from leaching away. Right, right. And so, you know, there's probably still some uh, denitrification and leaching that happens with all of this. So how much additional time or how much can you think we can actually prevent of the uh, denitrification and leaching using this product so that the crop can actually take it up? What are we saving ourselves? I mean, we're seeing about 40 to 50% less leaching mm -hmm. um, with using these type products versus without. No, that's outstanding. So, so you know, that's significant money savings when you're looking at, you know, you're, you're spending a lot of money on fertility these days, yes. well, ever. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, to be able to save 40 to 50% of that and reduce that denitrification and leaching for the crop to take it up, that's a significant improvement in what we can get. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, and even with that, you know, we have the, the, some products that are working on just the below ground, but then we have some products that have the, the below ground piece as well to help mm -hmm. with denitrification and leaching, but then have a, a product for above ground to help with volatility, mm -hmm. which is more if you're going to be, you know, if you're, if you're knifing in or injecting in your, your fertilizer, yep. probably more just need to use some sort of below ground product. Right. Um, but if we're putting it over the top, whether that's urea or fertigating or mm -hmm. going over with a sprayer and putting on 32 or 28 percent, um, having something to help with volatility, mm -hmm. um, but then also to help with 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 leaching and denitrification is very important. Okay, so it, you just mentioned a couple different sources of nitrogen. So, what all sources of nitrogen nitrogen can we use these products with? I mean, you know, a lot of guys use manure as their source. Yes, we can we can use it on manure. Um, we can use it on anhydrous. We can mm -hmm. use it on urea. We can use it on UAN. So, any any nitrogen source out there, um, using it to manage it and and and, and treat it. Okay, perfect. So. so this above ground, you know, the above and below components, so this dual action component, you know, when you're applying over the top, you know, we're not running into as much of the leaching and denitrification, but rather one of the big components of that is actually uh, the volatilization of, of nitrogen. So what is this product, the above and, or the dual action above and below, what is it doing to prevent that volatility? Yes, so it has a has NBPT is, is, the, is the technical term of what it has mm -hmm. for above ground volatility. What that does, it just helps give you about 14 to 21 days mm -hmm. of volatility control, um, which, you know, if we get a rain event or we, we have a, a pivot that can go over it mm -hmm. and can work it into the ground, that's where then the, 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 the copolymers for the below ground kick in and help hold it in the soil and keep it from, from going down. Right, right. So there's only so many acres a, a guy can cover in a single day. And if you don't have a rain event coming for the next week, 10 days, whatever it might be, you absolutely need to have these products within your uh, nitrogen application. Yes, and that's one of those things that but we had the benefit of. You know, there's some products out there that are just for above ground volatility mm -hmm. or some that are just for below. Yep. Well, that's the, the beauty of this product is, hey, yes, whether you get a rain event in 10 days and we protected it that first 10 days, mm -hmm. other products on the market, that's it's, it did its job and it's over. Yeah. Well, here we get a rain event and we have the dual action on. Well, now we have the, the below ground copolymers that are going to help with leach and denitrification and continue to work on holding that nitrogen, but also open it so the plant can take the nitrogen up more efficiently. I'm an amateur in this space. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about these products. What form are they in? Are they solid? Are they liquid? How do you apply them? Yes, do you so, inject? What, so, what do you do? So they are liquid. Um, so for the anhydrous ammonia, we would mm -hmm. use the, the just below ground, and that is usually injected directly into the nurse tank mm -hmm. or into the bullet, but it's a liquid product. Um, and then the, the other option, um, which is a dual action, you can put that on, um, put that on urea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a liquid that goes through the tumbler and, and helps get coated just as any other treatment does. Or for guys that are spraying, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether you have the co-op do it or a retailer do it or do it yourself. Uh, if you do it yourself, you can just get the, 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 the 32 or 28 percent naked. Yep. And then you can dump in the product. Usually it's about two and a half gallons uh, of the of the dual action per 1200 gallon load of, of 28 or 32 so it's pretty simple if you can dump in a chemical or dump in anything you can just dump in a, a two and a half gallon jug of, of a stabilizer to help protect it on your on uh, UAN. Now oh, that works out really well so yes. it sounds to me like you know we mentioned this earlier that we need to protect the biology you know within the soil or or maybe even in some cases we may be co-applying nitrogen with other products there may be biology within those products or other things so you know tell me a little bit about how these products actually preserve biology rather than corroding them right and that's the big thing is again a lot of the products on the market again they're 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 going after targeting and killing specific bugs that mm -hmm. are going to convert your nitrogen or stealing the food source away from other stuff that's going to convert your nitrogen but we're still messing with killing soil bacteria. So mm -hmm. in ours, there's nothing that kills bacteria, nothing that, that, that harms any bacteria. So we're continuing to uh, tell the story of the importance of using products and, and biologicals to help with root enhancement. Mm -hmm. and we're not doing anything to, to, that, to her, harm that or hurt that. Oh, that's great news. So, so you know, overall, these products absolutely need to be used with any nitrogen yes. application. And it's a perfect return on the investment with a 40 to 50% improvement on uh, you know, stopping denitrification and leaching. So thanks so much for telling us about these products that yeah. we need to be using. Glad to be here.